Now, climate change is a rapidly unfolding challenge of potentially catastrophic proportions, not for people around the world, but for us right here in Pakistan. If something isn't done soon, we'll be affected far more seriously than is generally recognized. Key players who could take action against climate change are the largest energy consumers, like manufacturing corporations and other businesses. And there's an incentive for them. Adopting environmentally sensitive and sustainable policies will save them money in the long run. News Eyes Arvid Hassan has more in this report. The issue of climate change has become a serious concern for the global community, for developing and developed countries alike. It is an emerging threat that needs to be addressed before it causes irreparable damage to sensitive ecosystems and eventually the human way of life as we know it. Pakistan's challenge and impact of climate change is very, very severe. I think the most obvious one is related to water. And what that means is the melting of the glaciers and also the intrusion of the seawater uh, into... And, and that also means land degradation. Now, you might be... You, that has implications on agriculture, but it also has implications on business. Business also requires, lots of businesses, lots of industries also requires water as an input. So my point is that we have to think not only of energy, but also of water, both are equally important. Carbon emissions are the leading cause of global warming and it is economic activity that enables these emissions. Despite the fact that Pakistan only contributes a fraction to its carbon emissions, it will be one of the worst countries hit by climate change. Whether it's the melting of glaciers or rising sea levels, the results will be disastrous. This calls on businesses to pursue economic activity in an environmentally sustainable manner. So what can they do in order to conduct activity with least damage to the environment? Addressing climate change is a new concept for many companies working in Pakistan. 50% have only just started applying green strategies and 25% remain completely indifferent. The rest, however, are actively applying such strategies and are starting to make a difference. According to the experts, the first thing that is needed to move in the right direction is appropriate legislation for corporate activity, something Pakistan has been addressing. You know, we have the basic speed work like we have in place the environment policy, the energy conservation policy, forest policy, sanitation policies. So as far as the policies are concerned, we have all the, them. We are comparatively much better than like, you know, other countries in the region. Uh, but the basic problem is that it's enforcement and implementation. The response for businesses can be broken down into two main activities energy efficient and GHE or greenhouse gas reduction and environmental and GHG management. Energy saving can be useful not only to the environment but also as a cost saving mechanism providing an incentive to manufacturers. This can be done through maintenance of machinery, timely replacement of furnace fuels and using more replaceable power sources like solar and wind. Another option is introducing new types of environmental management systems or EMS. While the initial cost of applying these measures can be high, these methods can help ensure that an organization meets its increasingly heavy burden of responsibility for the future of our planet. Avid Hassan, Don News.